Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today I just wanted to share some updates. <laughs> it's not actually a episode because I'm not prepared at all. This is just random. <laughs> but I do have some stuff that I crocheted that I want to share with you guys. And I got some happy mail that I got. And I want to share you some bags that are in the shop right now. I did just update the shop with a ton of Notion pouches. A lot of these, which I call crab bags because the way you squeeze them. They're flex frame bags. These are good size for hooks. They're three inches by from here to here, because I don't measure this part, but where you can store stuff is seven inches. Um, yeah, so it's great for hooks and stitch markers and things like that. I put 40 something of those in the shop, there's a lot. <laughs> and then I did put some regular, this kind of notion pouches in there. Uh, I think nine of them, eight of them maybe, just uh, regular zipper ones. And then there was one project bag set, which is this one. Um, because I'm, I'm almost out of material. <laughs> I'm just working with what I got. But um, it's just a really pretty um, seasoning. And it does come with its own notions pouch. But yeah, so since I'm already talking about bags, I'll go ahead and show you the bags really quickly. And then um, get onto the other stuff. So there's a teapot, notion pouch, sunflowers with little birds on them, cats, uh, the rooster print, Mickey Mouse, Jesse's in the living room. Horses, two with monkeys. Yes, baby, they heard you. And another ocean one that's separate from the other one. And then crab bags, there's a ton of crab bags. <laughs> All right, there's two of this print, which is fruits with a white background. And this is fruits with the green background. So they're different. <laughs> two of each of those. Two of this uh, brown with a little floral on it. Two with cherries. And they do have all kinds of different um, liners. <laughs> uh, there's four of the green with little flowers on it. There's four of this print with uh, roses. I think they're roses. There's four of this print that's gray with little flowers on them. There's two with these flowers on them. There's four with sea turtles. Two with lemon slices and two with lemon tree branches. <laughs> two with um, dogs on it. Oh, look, it's that dog's butt. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Two with the rooster print. Two with this print. Four and this florally print. Stack them up. Two with, um, it's like dog stuff. It says wolf wolf and the inside is bones. <laughs> Two of those. Two polka dots. And one with cactuses, cacti. One with the knitting chickens. <laughs> and one with birds on it. So that's all the crab bags. That's a lot of crab bags. <laughs> They're really easy. All you do is just, you put your hand on either side of it and squeeze it and it pops open and you can put your hooks and whatever in there and then you just let go of it and it closes. So they're real handy. I use one that I made that's about that long for my stitch markers. I need to make myself one uh, for hooks, but I think this would be good for individual projects. You could put the hook and a little pair of scissors and some stitch markers down in there, just throw it in your project bag. Or you can also put multiple hooks in there if you wanted to. And I have polymer clay hooks and I have hooks with big fat handles and they all fit down in here. And you can get quite a few in this one little bag. So if you're interested in those, check them out, and yeah. All right, now for the Happy Mail. Go ahead and show it, then I'll show the crochet, because uh, the crochet is stuff you've pretty much already seen, and then something that's not even put together yet. But for Happy Mail, uh, I got a message, get that one out, and on Instagram, and separate this here. This goes on that one. Okay, this one came from Angela. She sent me some of the closures that I use for my crab bags. I already put them in with my other ones, but they're these little things. The flex frames. She sent me, I think, nine of those with the little rods. And they were in this little green container, <laughs> which I love. And on top and on bottom of them, to keep them snug, was two little cotton scrubbies. So she sent me those and the fixtures. Plus, she also sent me this. I remember seeing this somewhere recently. This little card kit. And it comes with uh, a card, you know, like a like you send in the mail to someone. Stickers, uh, tattoos, and the yarn to make that flower thing. And the pattern is on the card. I'm not going to show it because I don't know, you know, 
this might be licensed <laughs> but yeah and then the sticker these are the tattoos They'll, they might be backwards because they're tattoos so when you put them on they they're the right way and then it came with some stickers and she also sent me a fat quarter it's a really pretty purpley color it's a lot brighter on the camera than it is in real life so thank you so much for that and then another happy mail I got I think this was really late or something and this is the second letter that I've gotten in the mail that's not stamped like the stamp isn't used um so I don't know that was weird but this is a valentine's day card from tara lynn and uh it's dated valentine's day so it's a little late anyways like i was saying tara lynn <laughs> so this is the valentine's that was in it she has oh, i just threw it on the floor i mean on the table <laughs> it's a really 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 pretty handmanship penmanship whatever and then there was also an actual valentine's in there like a little like the kind you know you get for at school and this is stickers i love stickers so she sent me some of these these are really cute because they look vintage the same thing no those stickers and these ones are uh holographic -y. foil <laughs> and then more cute little vintagey looking stickers so thank you so much and i'm i'm assuming you sent that around valentine's day uh but neither of the stamps are used so it's like you know it went through the system without getting through the system all the way because it's not stamped none of the post offices stamped it so it just made its way here <laughs> so it did finally come uh, and I'll hang it up on my wall. I've been hanging up all my cards that I get up there. That actually reminds me, I got another one, but I don't know what I did with it. Oh yeah, I got another package from uh, Terry. She sent she sent Jesse some stuff too, but it's already did I hit the camera at some point? I think I must have. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I moved it. Anyways, she sent some stuff for Jesse, some Smokey the Bear stuff, and here's a sticker that I got left. <laughs> um, I don't even know where any of it is. It's wherever he did with it. And but she also sent me the Amigurumi Five book. Or Amigurumi Zoomigurumi Five book. Which is this one. It's got a lot of cute uh Amigurumis in it. And uh she sent me some uh you know, she sent me that sticker and the book and then she sent Jesse a little bag full of it had pencils and bookmarks and things like that in it. And then I also got this car from Erica. Card from Erica. <laughs> Uh, recently and I, I haven't had time to hop on and show it but I didn't want to let you know that I got it so those will now be hung up there somewhere I just stuff's just been piling up and um, you know everybody's stressed out right now and I don't deal well with stress normally so when everybody's stressed it's super stressful <laughs> but yeah all right so now to the crochet stuff I've been working on I got piles of stuff everywhere okay so um, I did release my new pattern which I showed you guys already in a video clip but I did finish my chicken <laughs> for that and here he is or she whatever so I did design this pattern it's basically it's the same body as my hocus the witch frog pattern I just made different body parts for it <laughs> and um, so it's just a cute little chick and I already released the pattern so if you're interested in it it is in my Etsy shop and um, yeah so he's just cute it's all red heart super saver bright yellow uh, a pink <laughs> pumpkin white and then I use safety eyes and I'm not sure what the size are I think in there are like 15 millimeter or something like that and a little hair <laughs> but yeah so that's my chick and then I did try I was gonna design a little bunny pattern um like a little you know like uh simsums from Disney I was trying to go for something like that but a bunny and <laughs> it does not look like a bunny to me it looks like a seal with big ears so this is what I came up with and he does have like a muzzle but it's white on white so you can't see it that good but uh, I'm going to take the same pattern and work with it and try to do something else. But I did use a little safety nose. And I got the idea for this body shape. Uh, I did do the legs different than the pattern that I did earlier. I'll have to insert a picture of that because I don't have it. But my brother sent me a picture that he got off of somewhere. And asked me if I could make it for him. So I made it for him and he ended up coming that day and getting it. So uh, I'll pop that up. It's a little pug. And I... Um, I think the website that made it is called Crochet Jar, but when I went to that website to get the link to share with you guys, uh, I couldn't find that pattern, so I'll just have to link the whole website, and you can search around. Um, I don't know if they deleted it or what, but it is, uh, he just sent me like a little picture, and it had the pattern on it, and it's like a little infographic or something, but um, I made that little pug, and it gave me the idea to make um, the same body shape, but instead of, the pug had legs that he had to sew on, and I didn't want to do that, so I just did puff stitches. <laughs> Uh, strategically so that it would look like little legs and I think this is a cute little body it's just uh, 
I don't know, it doesn't look like a bunny rabbit the way I wanted it to. So I might take the same pattern, because I did write it as I went, and um, just tweak it and make it into something else. Uh, I had people tell me it looks like a llama. So, uh, I don't know, we'll just we'll figure out something to do with this little body. But I think it's so cute, the little, it just, it's cute, but it just doesn't look like a rabbit. And the only other thing I've been crocheting on lately is uh, in this bag. And it's actually from my Zoom and Groomy 8 book that was gifted to me. It is Woody the Beaver. This is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> I have everything made except his teeth because I haven't gotten around to uh, making them yet. I was just going to make my own little pattern real quick because it calls for fingering weight. And someone did suggest in the comments to uh, unply the yarn, which I do that all the time when I'm doing mouths and eyebrows and eyelashes. Uh, I always just take a worsted weight piece of yarn, usually black, and you untwist it to where it's... Um, you know, the ply comes untwisted. You see there's four there. And then you just separate it into two. And then when you pull it, <laughs> you have to do it a certain way or to get tangled up. Uh, you'll have like a thinner piece of yarn. But I do have all his body done. So this is his tail. It's black. This is, I think, his body. <laughs> In brown. It's, I think it's uh, coffee, maybe. There's his head. Let's see here. He's got... Uh, these are his arms. <laughs> These are the big part of his leg. And then he's got little feet. I don't know if those are his feet or his ears. But he's got feet and ears. These are his feet and ears. <laughs> and then these are his uh, muzzle thingies. And his cheeks. So he's all crocheted. I just haven't put them together yet because I just... It's a lot of pieces, and I've just been not wanting to do it. <laughs> so I do need to make his um, teeth, and then once I get his muzzle on, his nose is just, like, stitched on there, uh, embroidered on there. So he's just hanging out in my Pikachu bag <laughs> until I get around to piecing them together. And I just I just haven't felt it. I need a mindless crochet project thing. I'm going to pull out my poncho, maybe, and just start working on it um, so I can crochet, but I don't have to, like, concentrate on it much i'm just you know i'm just like everybody else right now i'm stressed out and i just want to chill and do things that's easy i am designing another pattern though uh it's kind of a spring themed but it's not it's not really spring themed but it's kind of i don't know what i'm trying to say but it's going to be kind of like this but a uh, different size and different animal <laughs> and um i'm wanting to work with this a little bit try to make some more patterns and then i did make this uh this little lamb bag and i thought about taking this concept and using it to make other things so we'll see. And I also had another idea for something I think is cool. <laughs> but uh, we'll see all that when it comes. But yeah, so um, I just wanted to hop on here and update you guys real fast. This isn't a formal episode because I don't think I did enough to ne necessitate an actual episode. But um, yeah, so if you're interested in the bags, go check them out. They're in the shop. I have all my shipping stuff ready. So um, I can just come straight from home and drop them off at the post office and go back home. Because <laughs> we are self-isolating here. Other than Devin, he is still working out of the home. But I don't think he's going to be doing that much longer. Uh, he's supposed to be getting laid off. Everybody else at his company got laid off. Except him and a few other people. So um, they're finishing up what they got to do. And then I think he's going to get laid off. And then we're just going to be waiting like everybody else to see what happens. But um, I got I got some more fabric. I found a couple yards that I didn't know I had. So I think I'm going to whip up some project bags with those. And throw them in the shop whenever they get done. And just maybe fiddle around see if I can get anything else out just for the heck of it and design some more patterns because it's fun and then I'm just gonna wait for all this to pass <laughs> I just I really hope it's over by May because Jesse's birthday is May the 1st and I don't want to miss it you know but uh he doesn't know when his birthday is so we could we could postpone it <laughs> but yeah I gotta go help Jesse so I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and get this up for you guys to see and I'm going to try to come out with some more videos if I accomplish anything. <laughs> Jesse keeps interrupting me, so I'm going to have to go ahead and go off. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.